Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Corpse Party Tortured Souls, episode four, three. <sighs> my god, this just keeps getting better and better and better and creepier and creepier and creepier. Wow, so in this episode, we learn the kind of the origin, I guess you could say, of the this whole terror in a way. Okay, we learn because cause we uh, two of the characters I cannot for life me remember their names. I mean, all of the girls look almost exactly the same, except for that one chick who hung herself in episode one. Other than that, they look so the same. I'm so, so even though I'm really invested into this series now, I cannot for the life of me remember names. I'm sorry. But there's two chicks, or a guy and a girl who ended up getting sent back to their world, supposedly by this, uh, or to their plane anyway, supposedly by this ghost girl who seemed to be really nice to them, but they decided didn't, they, they ended up deciding to go back to save their, uh, to, to save their friends, but before they did, I want to talk about that guy's reaction at first in a second. But before they did, the, the gr girl ended up getting basically a glimpse into the past of what happened. She replaced that one ghost girl who was helping them and ended up getting killed in her place. We see her and several others getting like laid down and tied up with their eyes to there. And then this, th their tongues ended up starting to get cut off, okay? And their eyes gouged out and whatnot, and just stabbed in general too. And we think it's that one guy who's standing over them who tied them up. But when she opens her eye, or when she gets the blindfold taken off her, she sees that guy's trembling in the corner. And that one Shinozaki chick, I think her name is, the one short, long, black-haired chick who always has this like dark aura covering her. She's the one actually doing the killing. And it's explained later on that one teacher probably helped her out very reluctantly and was terrified of what he was doing and probably committed suicide later on. Or maybe that one chick ended up killing him later on. Because we actually do get to see him being controlled by her as a, basically an undead zombie, I'm guessing, to kill people later on in the episode, which is kind of weird because I thought his soul was trapped inside of that doll. Um, but maybe his soul's trapped inside of the doll, but his body's being controlled or something, whatever. But anyways, though, so that, so we do get more backstory in this episode, which is very interesting and very disturbing, okay? Um, and so then they decide to go back, but that one guy, I want to talk about his reaction first, because, you know, he refuses to go back at first with her, so she ends up heading back alone at first. And, you know, her reaction to him, I, mean, I think both of their reactions are quite normal. Because his reaction was normal because, you know, who the fuck would want to go back there, like, in general, and risk their lives like that. But her reaction was also normal because she was extremely worried about her friends. Okay, both of their reactions are extremely normal for what a normal human, how a normal human being would react in the situation. Because it's such a, it would be such a difficult fucking uh, decision to actually choose to put yourself back in that scenario, okay? That's why I feel that both of their reactions were definitely normal towards each other. So she ends up going back at first, and then later on he does end up showing up there again, and ends up getting killed off, basically saving her life so that she can escape. Another thing, Yuka. God, why would you do that to a fucking lolly like that? Come on, that's just cr cruel beyond words. Oh my god. Her tongue gets going no, out. Actually, I don't think her tongue gets cut out, but her eye gets gouged out. She gets fucking stabbed. Oh my god, she's she gets all fucked up. And somehow she lives to the end of the fucking episode too, which I don't understand exactly how, considering that she basically a corpse at this point. Uh, if she's alive in episode 4, I'm, it's going to be really fucking awkward because she's basically a corpse at this point. Seriously. Oh my god. But anyways though, once again, fantastic.
fantastic episode. <sighs> I cannot recommend this series enough. It's so fucking good. I'm so glad I decided to watch this for October. Seriously. It's so fucking good. Like... I, once again, I have to compliment the fact that there is are literally no censors. During that scene, when you see those kids' tongues getting cut off, like, there's literally no fucking censors at all. Like, there are some but, where you where they do get cut off off-screen, but the purpose of that, I'm guessing, is just the simple sound of them getting cut off is supposed to disturb you. But you do see a tongue, one of their tongues getting cut off on-screen. You see one of them landing on the ground bleeding out so clearly they have so that along with the previous episodes are proof that they have no qualms about showing this violence to kids okay which some people would say is just plain wrong but that's kind of the point you know He's, oh my god and who the fuck is this like black haired chick that's killing everyone too that I really want to know seriously oh my god but fantastic episode Serious, honestly. So, anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. -bye.